class is in on the basis of applications the first one is known as automobile engine automobile are the most widely used engine as a power source as we know all the automobile vehicles are having their own power source and that power source is nothing but the engine in an automobile a different types of engines are used for different type of application for example a motorcycle or two wheelers in which we use a single cylinder engine while in cars we use multi cylinder engine in trucks and buses we use a diesel engine which are again a multi cylinder other than this engines can be classified also as aircraft engines in aircraft we are using jet engine mainly but in a light mode aircraft a uh, smaller aircraft we use a reciprocating type of engine after that a locomotive engine locomotive means a engine which is used in trains in a older days the steam engines was mainly used in a train while a later on diesel engine is also used as a power source for rail currently very few companies are using a diesel engine for locomotive the other applications are marine engines in which a large size of ic engine is manufactured and used as a power house for the ships and crews and the last one is stationary engine these are the engines which are not movable so they are manufactured and placed at a particular place and used the most common application for stationary engine is a pump set while the same engines can be used for power generation for generators so these are the classification of engine on the basis of application the next classification is the classification on the basis of the basic engine design so engine ko uske construction ke base pe different different type mein classify kiya ja sakta hai so design ya fir construction ke base par engine do types ke hote hain aur wo do types hai reciprocating engine and rotary engine a reciprocating engine is again classified on the basis of single cylinder and multi cylinder engine as the name indicate when a engine is having a single cylinder it is known as single cylinder reciprocating engine and when it is having two or more than two cylinder it is known as multi cylinder reciprocating engine the these two type of engine are mostly used in maximum applications reciprocating engine means it is having a reciprocating component by which a power is generated in some of the type a rotary engine is used a rotary engine is a engine which is used rotary motion to convert the heat energy into mechanical energy in rotary engines there is two types single rotor and a multi rotor when the engine is having a single rotor it is known as single rotor when it is having two or more than two rotors it is known as multi rotor sare duniya mein jo bhi aise engine ki applications hai usme 90% applications reciprocating engines ki hoti hai यानी हम सिर्फ रेसिप्रोकेटिंग इंजन से यूज करते हैं और रोटरी इंजन बहुत कम यूज किए जाते हैं कमर्शियली देर इज ओनली वन कंपनी विच इज यूजिंग द रोटरी टाइप ऑफ इंजन रोटरी टाइप ऑफ इंजन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वैंकल इंजन द 
the basic engine design can be further classified on the basis of arrangement of cylinders as we know the multi cylinder engines are having applications in different types of vehicle like trucks buses cars sports car so different types of engines are arranged differently the most common type of arrangement is inline cylinder as you see in this animation the cylinders are arranged in a single line and they work accordingly in this animation we can see a four cylinder engine and the cylinders are arranged in a single line this is the most common type which is used in most of the cars and buses and also a different trucks the next arrangement of cylinder is known as opposed cylinder in which a cylinders are arranged opposite to one another while a crankshaft is arranged in a center and the arrangement of cylinder works like this as shown in this animation there is one more arrangement which is completely different and opposite to this opposed cylinder and is known as opposed piston engine in this type the cylinder is one so a single cylinder is used here and a two pistons are mounted in a same cylinder this arrangement is known as opposed piston as we know in this system a single fuel is uh, inserted at here and the engine works in this arrangement we are having two crankshaft the next arrangement is known as v engine when the number of cylinders are more like this here we are having a four cylinder engine if we need more power we need more number of cylinder so if we are having 6 8 or 12 number of cylinder then it the engine length will increase and it is not possible to install that engine in a vehicle so the engines are arranged uh, sorry the cylinders are arranged in a v shape in this case the two cylinders are arranged in an v shape while they are connected to a single crankshaft so this type of engines are compact in size so v twin engines where a two number of cylinders are there is a common application for cruiser bike while a v6 and v8 type of engine in which six and eight number of cylinders are used respectively they are used for heavy vehicle like a sports car and other things the next application is a radial engine as we see here there are number of cylinders and these cylinders are arranged in a radially in a circular position these type of radial engines are used for light aircraft engines so low low weight and a small aircraft they use this radial engines and in some helicopters also we use radial engines this is the complete classification of an engine on the basis of design now let's classify engine on the basis of fuel used there are different types of fuel used in an engine but most commonly there are four types of engine in which we use a different types of fuel the most common is a petrol so petrol is a first type of fuel which is used for an engine so the engine works on petrol are known as petrol engine and this type of engines are used in light motor vehicles like cars and two wheeler while the heavy vehicles uses diesel as a fuel and those engines are called as diesel engine now because of the alternate fuel arrangement of the fuel we are having a cng 
and LPG engines. The petrol engines are converted into LPG engines, so they work on like liquefied petroleum gas and called as LPG engine. While a diesel engine works on CNG, that is compressed natural gas, and they are known as CNG engine. After this, now a new type of engines are coming up in a few years, and these engines are known as hybrid engines. These engines works on two power source, and that's why they are known as hybrid and also called as dual engines. On the basis of working cycle of the engine, how the engine is working and how a working cycle is completed, the engines are classified in two main categories. The first one is two-stroke engine and a four-stroke engine. We have known that the moment of piston from TDC to BDC or from BDC to TDC is known as a stroke. When a uh, Two strokes of piston are required to complete one working cycle is known as two-stroke engine. While when four strokes of a piston are required to complete one working cycle is known as four-stroke engine. Here, so यहाँ नाम में लिखा हुआ है कि अगर दो स्ट्रोक लग रहे हैं पिस्टन के एक पावर साइकिल को कंप्लीट करने के लिए तो टू स्ट्रोक चार स्ट्रोक लग रहे हैं एक पावर साइकिल को कंप्लीट करने के लिए तो फोर स्ट्रोक इसके बारे में हम लोग आगे किसी एक पर्टिकुलर वीडियो में पढ़ेंगे कि हाउ दिस फोर स्ट्रोक एंड थ्री स्ट्रोक इंजन वर्क देन लेट्स क्लासिफाई द इंजन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ थर्मोडायनेमिक वर्किंग साइकिल Now every engine works on the basis of a thermodynamics engine because we need something basic theoretical thing to on which these engines are working. So different types of cycles are used. Basically, we are having auto cycle engine. This auto cycle is basically developed for a petrol engine. So all the petrol engines are called as auto cycle engine. Yeah, please. All petrol engine works on auto cycle engine, so this is known as auto cycle. While the diesel engine work on diesel cycle, so they are called as diesel cycle engine. There is one more cycle that is dual cycle, which is a combination of both auto cycle and a diesel cycle, and this is known as dual cycle engine. So on the basis of thermodynamic power cycle. We are having these three type of cycle: auto cycle, diesel cycle, and a dual cycle. Now the next classification, and it is on basis of ignition system. As we have learned in the working of IC engine, we have learned that after the compression, a fuel is ignited. and a combustion is takes place this process is very necessary because to convert the chemical energy of fuel into a heat energy we need to produce a heat energy and that's why a ignition is very much necessary the ignition of the fuel must take place at a proper time and in a perfect condition and that's why a ignition system is very useful so on the basis of ignition system we can classify the engine on two types the number one is known as spark ignition or si engine as the name indicates spark ignition means a ignition is takes place by the spark produced by the in this type of engine a spark is produced by spark plug it is same like igniting a gas jaise ki hum ghar mein gas jalate hai aur hum lighter use karte hai lighter mein spark nikalta hai aur gas jalti hai to usi tarah se petrol engines mein all the petrol engines are known as si engines so petrol engines mein air fuel ka jo mixture hota hai petrol aur air ka mixture उसको इग्नाइट करने के लिए स्पार्क की जरूरत होती है 
और ये स्पार्क प्रोड्यूस होता है एक स्पार्क प्लग से सो इन स्पार्क इंजिन और पेट्रोल इंजिन वी आर हैविंग स्पार्क इग्निशन सिस्टम एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस टाइप ऑफ इंजिन आर नोन एज एसआई व्हाई अ डीजल इंजिन जिसमें डीजल एज अ फ्यूल यूज होता है तो इस टाइप के जो व्हीकल्स होते हैं इंजिन होते हैं उसके अंदर डीजल इंजिन यूज होता है और इसमें जो इग्निशन सिस्टम होता है वो होता है कॉम्प्रेशन इग्निशन इंजिन या सीआई इंजिन जिसके अंदर हम लोग इग्नाइट करने के लिए हीट ऑफ कॉम्प्रेशन यूज करते हैं इन कॉम्प्रेशन इग्निशन इंजिन अब प्रेशर इज डेवलप एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द हाई प्रेशर और टेम्परेचर गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग और ज्यादा टेम्परेचर होने की वजह से फ्यूल अपने सेल्फ इग्निशन टेम्परेचर तक पहुंच जाता है और कंबशन होता है सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इग्निशन सिस्टम एस आई इंजिन एंड सी आई इंजिन आर देयर एंड दिस इज द सेम एज दैट ऑफ पेट्रोल इंजिन एंड डीजल इंजिन नाउ इन द एंड लेट्स क्लासिफाई द इंजिन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ cooling system used first of all let's understand what is cooling system in a cooling system it is used to absorb the excess heat which is generated inside the engine as we know ki engine mein continuously fuel combustion hote rehta hai aur fuel ka combustion hone ki wajah se bahut sari heat generate hoti hai aur ye heat engine ke sare component absorb karte hain अब जब ये बहुत सारी हीट एब्सॉर्ब करेंगे तो इन कंपोनेंट्स का थर्मल एक्सपांशन हो सकता है और थर्मल एक्सपांशन की वजह से इंजन सीज हो सकता है यानी इंजन जाम हो सकता है इंजन काम करना बंद कर सकता है तो इसीलिए ये बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है कि इस हीट को हम लोग इंजन में से रिमूव करें और उस हीट को एटमोस्फेयर में रिलीज कर दे और इसी पर्पज के लिए जो सिस्टम यूज होता है उसे हम कूलिंग सिस्टम कहते हैं तो कूलिंग सिस्टम के बेस पे इंजन क्लासिफाई किए जा सकते हैं तो उसमें डिफरेंट टाइप्स के इंजन होते हैं सबसे पहला होता है एयर कूल्ड इंजन और जैसे कि नाम लिखा हुआ है एयर कूल्ड इंजन एयर एज अ वर्किंग मीडियम यूज किया जाता है तो एयर से हम लोग इंजन की हीट को एब्सॉर्ब करते हैं और एयर से अगर आपको एब्सॉर्ब करना है तो आपको कम जो कॉन्टेक्ट एरिया है एयर का और इंजन का वो तो बढ़ाना पड़ता है तो इसीलिए इंजन के ऊपर फेंस बनी हुई होती है तो आप टू व्हीलर्स में देखेंगे टू व्हीलर्स में सबसे ज्यादा हम एयर कूल्ड इंजन का यूज करते हैं तो वहां पे सिलेंडर के ऊपर फेंस बनी हुई रहती है जो एयर के कॉन्टेक्ट में आती है और हीट को एब्सॉर्ब करती है तो ऐसे इंजन को हम एयर कूल्ड इंजन बोलते हैं फोर व्हीलर्स के जो इंजन होते हैं वो बड़े होते हैं और एक बोनट के अंदर टैक होते हैं तो वहां पे एयर का पहुंचना थोड़ा मुश्किल होता है और इसीलिए वहां पर हम लोग लिक्विड या वाटर कूल्ड इंजन को यूज करते हैं ये वाले इंजन में आप अगर देखेंगे तो आपको रेडिएटर वगैरह दिखाई देगा वाटर पंप होगा एक फैन होता है तो ये सारा जो सिस्टम होता है उसको वाटर कूल्ड इंजन बोलते हैं उसके बाद आता है ऑयल कूल्ड इंजिन ये वाले इंजिन टू व्हीलर में जनरली अभी यूज किए जा रहे हैं जैसे कि होता है कि जो इंजिन का साइज बढ़ जाता है तो एयर कूल्ड इंजन हम यूज नहीं कर पाते क्योंकि एयर की एफिशिएंसी उतनी ज्यादा नहीं होती है कि वो उतनी ज्यादा हीट को एब्सॉर्ब कर सके तो इसीलिए हम लोग उन इंजन को कूल करने के लिए ऑयल यूज करते हैं तो इस टाइप के जो इंजन होते हैं उनको ऑयल कूल्ड इंजन बोलते हैं तो ऐसे इंजन आपको प्रीमियम सेगमेंट के मोटरसाइकिल में नजर आएंगे जैसे स्पोर्ट्स बाइक होती है उसमें आप पल्सर वन में ये सिस्टम देख सकते हैं टी अपाची में ये सिस्टम यूज कर सकते हैं तो ऐसे बहुत सारे व्हीकल्स है टू व्हीलर जो प्रीमियम सेगमेंट की बाइक्स है जहां पर आपको ऑयल कूल्ड इंजन देखने के लिए मिलेगा दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एन आइस इंजिन ऑन दी बेसिस सो आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस लेक्चर यू शुड बी एबल टू गिव द आंसर 